Hey guys, Lauren from Ecom Zone, and in this video, I'm going to explain why I'm going to stop using Clavio for my Shopify store. Now, I've been using Clavio for five years now, and I've been collecting a lot of customer emails. And back then, they basically had a plan where you could stay on the minimum plan and send out like, I don't know, 10,000 automated emails. And after a few years, they've kind of realized that they need to start charging people based on active profiles instead of how many emails you send. And I think this is just ridiculous. They should just be charging for the amount of emails we send out and not how many profiles we have accumulated over five years. Just because you've collected, like, for me, I've collected over 170,000 profiles, it doesn't mean I'm sending out 170,000 emails a month. And so now they're changing up the pricing plan and they're going to start charging me $600 a month to send automated emails out to my customers. Now, I don't really send out that many emails via Clavio anyways, so to pay $600 a month, do you know how crazy that is? 600 times 12 is, I, don't, I need a calculator for that one. I think it's like 24 or something, 600 times 12, no, $7,200 a year. Now, let me actually get this correct, so let's go to their pricing plan. And I hate these subscription models where they charge you more based on how many profiles you have or how many sales you make. So the more sales you make, the more they charge you. But with this sort of subscription model, it gets really expensive for people like us because they charge like exponentially almost. But yeah, so let's just say I'm at 150 to 200. Eem is 2000 a month, not even 600. That is insane. Look at this times 12 they're trying to charge me 25k a year to send out automated emails are they like what what are they thinking i don't get it it's just funny that they're trying to charge me this when literally shopify has their own email flows that you can set up easily and the triggers are probably better than clavio's so they sent me this email we're sending another email because it's important the new pricing options we just announced including flexible sending and auto downgrade requires that your Clavio account stay on the email plan that meets your number of active profiles. While this is how we have always thought about the value of customer relationships, the recent product usage on your account has been inconsistent with this approach. As you can see on the blah 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 blah, blah active profiles while your current profile limit is a thousand. The thing is they don't understand, I don't send out that many emails. I just have a lot of profiles accumulated over the past five years. And this is what the problem is and that's why I will be cancelling and closing my account. I'll just shift all my customer profile emails over to Brevo, which is where I send out my campaigns. So the difference is I use Clavio to send out automated emails and I use Brevo to send out promo emails like get 25% off for Mother's Day or get 10% off for Valentine's Day, something like that, right? But automated emails with Clavio is more like when a customer abandons your checkout and then you want to send them an email just to get them back into your store and complete their purchase. So these are the flows we have on Clavio. We've got Abandoned Cart that's still live. We've got Welcome Series that's still live. Uh, browse Abandonment, Customer Thank You, uh, Happy Birthday Email, Customer Win Back, etc. So we have all these emails and last year this is how much revenue is pulled in. So based on like this amount of revenue is pulled in, it's not worth 25000 a year. It's just ridiculous how much they're charging. And that's why I'm going to actually stop using Clavio and move on to Shopify email flows. What you're going to do is head over to Shopify, click on marketing and click on automations. Once you're here, we have our flows already set up. But for you, you probably don't have any flows set up. So it's quite easy to do. You just go to view templates top right. And then the first one you usually do is either welcome new subscribers with a discount series, this one here. And the second one is recover abandoned checkout, which is this one here. Uh, upsell customers after they place an order. That's quite a good one too. Uh, thank customers. Now the thank you flow isn't too bad, but some customers do get pissed off if they receive too many emails. So you don't want to send out too many emails, maybe once a week, because if you have multiple flows going at the same time, then you're sending out a bunch of emails, right? So make sure you time all your email flows. 
Another email flow you could do is celebrate customer birthday, which is just an email that you send out every year when it's your customer's birthdays. Another good flow is convert abandoned product browse. I, I'm not too sure how this works, but it's quite smart. Basically, when your customers browse your website, but they don't add to cart or check out or anything, they're just looking at products. Shopify and Klaviyo can somehow pick this up and send your customers an email. I'm not too sure how it works, but it works and is one of my most profitable automations. So the most profitable is welcome new subscribers. The second one is recover abandoned checkout. And the third one is convert and abandoned browse products. So we could just click on recover abandoned checkout. And you see this flow here. And um, required apps is a Shopify email. And sometimes it will say Shopify flow as well. So let's see if it has another one. So here, so this one upsell customers after they place an order. You see here that they got Shopify flow here. This one here, Shopify email only. So yeah, so sometimes in the Shopify flow, which is just another app you need to install onto your Shopify store and it's totally free. So what you want to click here is click on edit because we want to edit the flow. Let that load and so we're brought to a page like this where there's a whole flow and it's good to understand what's going on here. So a customer abandons checkout and then customer abandoned checkout on online store, check if yes, and then total price of checkout is more than zero dollars. You then wait for 10 hours. Now this one here, we're going to actually change this to 30 minutes because 10 hours is way too long to send the first email. So wait for 30 minutes and then check if customer hasn't placed an order since the 30 minutes so if they haven't placed an order yet that's good it will trigger this next email and this is something that i didn't notice on clavio i mean i'm not in clavio too often so i'm not too sure if they have this trigger or this automation but yeah this is really smart because there's been times when my customers email me saying oh i placed my order but you're sending me abandoned cart emails and so this check here confirms if your customer has placed an order with you or not after 30 minutes. So one or more products in checkouts are available and in stock and then it sends the email. So with this email, I'm not going to show you how to build it, but the best way to find inspiration for your emails is this website here. So it's called reallygoodemails.com and you can search for any sort of emails here. You can search for Christmas emails, Black Friday, Valentine's, Mother's Day, Summer, you, you name it. So we could just search abandoned checkout emails here. And you can see there's a bunch of emails that you could take inspiration from. Also, another good place to look at is just Google. So I use Google quite often. You can just search abandoned checkout emails and just look. There's so many that you can copy. And the best ones are when there's a discount because guys one of the reasons why your customers abandon your checkout is probably because of the pricing so by offering them a discount code you're basically increasing the chances of them converting and if you think about it guys these customers are gone they looked at your website they added your product to the cart they checked out and they decided eh, maybe it's too expensive I'll click away or they got distracted with something happening at home or at work and they clicked away and so by sending them an email saying, oh, here's 10% off, it's very likely that they'll come back and purchase from you. And if they don't, what you want to do is send them another email. So this email flow here only sends out one email. What you want to do is send out three total emails with the abandoned checkout automation flow. So what we're going to do is click this and then it will be condition and it will be customer hasn't placed an order. But the thing is, we want to click this one, copy this because it's a code. And so we'll click back in here, add a variable, paste the code in. And it's this one. Customer has no orders since abandonment. Of course, this is actually quite complex. But once you pick it up, you kind of like understand what's happening. So we click back here. This is true. Um... Ah, you see, so this one, hours since last abandoned checkout, greater than 24 hours. So I'm not too sure if that's good. I've maybe just put one. Yeah, 
and then this one is true and then from here we're going to click then and then action and then search for wait wait for flow and we're going to wait eight hours to send the next email the reason why we're waiting eight hours to send the next email is because sometimes people may be at work they just start the day at work and they can't purchase until later and so by waiting eight hours they may be back at home ready to purchase so what we want to do is click then again and then action search for send marketing email click this one and there we have it and then you're gonna have to select the template so click select template and this is quite cool because there's many templates for you already so of course this one's abandoned checkout so you click the abandoned checkout email select so once you've done editing your subject line your preview text your email you set it to active of course I can't because there's no subject line so maybe the subject line is what are you waiting for get 20% off today only something like that set as active so once you set that email as active you got the second email here and then you just set this up again to send the third email and then you click turn on flow and that's how you set up your abandoned checkout flow with Shopify emails and it's free totally free and then you have companies like Clavio trying to charge you 25k a year to send automated emails are they having a giggle their pricing plan is not competitive at all when you have Shopify who offers it for free and you can just use Shopify email flow just like how I showed you and you just set this up for all the other automation flows out there so yeah I'm a very honest person when it comes to what apps I recommend and which apps I'm affiliated with sorry Clavio I'm just gonna have to say bye to you yeah I hope you guys found this video valuable if you did Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more content and peace.